So with season two reload, we got a new dark ether and with that is four items that you're gonna need to open the new dark ether reef. Now recently I posted a video how to unlock the new dark ether reef. If you guys wanna watch that video, I'm gonna go ahead and post it on the description down below. Now once you open the new dark ether, you can either use a regular sigil or you can use an elder sigil right away. So in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to complete the elder dark ether with some simple steps. Now this method, I was using it on the other dark ether. Now as you can see right here, we're gonna be using the elder sigil so we can play the hard difficulty and grind for the schematics. Now with these steps, you can actually complete this solo or you can do it with some friends. Now it is kind of hard to do it sometimes with friends because you gotta keep your eye on them and sure they don't die and whatnot. But doing a solo, you can go at your own pace. So anyway, if you wanna do this solo, follow this steps you guys this is the easiest way to complete the elder dark ether so once you spawn in here obviously you're gonna have three contracts now we got the bounty we got the ether extractor and we got the outlast first contract is gonna be right here on this building so as soon as you spawn is literally right behind you the first tip is basically to have at least four lt53 we also had two decor grenades on top of that now another thing we're going to be having is dogs and we're going to have golden armor now the golden armor and the dog is not a requirement but if you guys want to make it easy definitely have a golden armor first things first we're going to head to the back of that building that i was just talking about this is going to be the first contract right here you guys this contract is basically going to be the bounty now we're not going to be showing you guys the gameplay yet for this bounty that we're about to do first we're going to be doing the easiest one so we're going to come back and show you guys that part of the gameplay i just want to show you guys exactly where that first contract was going to be so we're going to climb on this building right here at this point i'm going to show you that the next location is going to be on top of this tower if you guys remember the story mission where you went to the infested stronghold pretty much it's gonna be on that building but it's gonna be on the very top so you're gonna drop down here and then you're gonna make your way to the left now one of the things you guys need to remember is that running without a secondary weapon definitely helps so climb on that truck climb on these uh, crates and then after that climb on the building now unfortunately as you can see my friend right here fell down and he had like at least 40 zombies chasing him i mean I thought he was a gunner but anyway we're gonna go ahead and climb on this ladder right here now you can go ahead and make a left right here to climb up but um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the way that i took it doesn't really matter which way you go so take a left right here and then you're gonna climb on top of these rocks right here on top of this wall so climb right here climb right here and then all you should be able to hear at this point is the contract so right here is you're gonna see the bunny you're gonna pick it up and right here you got the first contract this is the ether extractor this is by far the easiest one especially since you're gonna have the lt53 uh we're not gonna be using decoy grenade at this point we're gonna use the um lt53 because the decoy grenade is only eight seconds and eight seconds is not gonna be good enough to do this so uh it seemed to me for whatever reason that the first ether extractor it was not that many zombies so if you don't want to waste one right there if you're playing solo Go ahead and throw a decoy grenade and then on the second one go ahead and switch to your you know lt53 so right here do not go to the alley by the way because you might get trapped between zombies and you might die right here my friend actually threw the first you know lt53 so right here we're gonna go ahead and activate this and now we already got two all we need to do is do one more so now i have two lt53 in case he runs out we're gonna go ahead and throw mine and he's gonna activate it now, if you guys are doing this solo, this is why I say have at least four, just in case you have to get rid of one. It's an emergency at some other point. As you can see right here, I had to throw a second one because it was taking him a little longer to actually activate it. On top of that, we still had to collect the reward. So definitely have an extra LT53. So I still have two more. Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and show you guys exactly where the portal is. Because like I said, this was kind of like the end of the video. But we're going to go ahead and go back to the actual first contract and show you guys the gameplay for the bounty because that one did took a little longer uh it's not really the bounty it's the amount of zombies but anyway after you complete the last ether extractor make sure you guys just follow this straight road just follow this road all the way up uh basically all you gotta do is go all the way up now once we do the bounty gameplay the bounty gameplay is gonna be on the same location i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so as you can see the portal is right there and this is where you're gonna go ahead and exit anyway so you guys remember the first 
contract that we picked up this was the bounty all right so my second tip right here is basically always have every single one of these perks now the reason why i have these perks is because all these perks are going to help me actually stay alive we're talking about juggernaut we're talking about dead shot for that critical hit damage i stamina to be able to run fast and replay fast even though you have gold armor the zombies attack you so fast that you still want to have armor with you so even though you got gold armor at least have some armor plates with you just in case you're getting overwhelmed so my other tip to actually get this done fast and easy is definitely have a sentry gun now as you can see right here when we came to do this bounty is not the actual target that you know is concerning is the amount of dogs is the amount of zombies that actually come after you now if it was a way to actually get to the target fast and easy as you can see right here we finally got to him that's because we eliminated a whole bunch of the dogs and a whole bunch of the zombies and on top of that you run out of ammo so definitely have a sentry gun or at least two i recommend at least two uh, for whatever reason my friends didn't put his down or oh, i think he didn't have one so anyway make sure you have an extra sentry gun to actually get this done so right here we got some nice reward we got the vr 11 and we got the micro holding schematic so we already got the vr 11 schematic we got the micro holding schematic i mean we're getting all three schematics pretty much so another tip is the ether shroud field upgrade that one comes in handy to actually make escape i know we got other ones that you can use but by far that's the best one and like i mentioned if you don't have the dog bone definitely get some chunks of flesh so you can bring the dog just so he can be a decoy now he pretty much probably gonna die especially when you do this bounty contract but um at least having one just for a few minutes to distract some of the zombies is gonna help you as well so look at this we got the schematic for the vr11 the micro holding i mean we're doing it now the last contract that we're going to be showing you is the outlast contract this one is going to be so this one is going to be located nearby so if you see that building straight ahead of us not the first one or the second one but the third building you're going to go ahead and climb up there it's a ladder around the building so you're going to go around the building you're going to climb right here and you're going to make your way all the way to the top now one of the things you guys have to be careful is once you're selecting the bounty if you have a zombie chasing you do not jump out of the building um i did end up making that mistake jumping out of the building i end up dying but um thank god i have self-revive talking about self-revive make sure you have at least three self-revive that's my other tip if you guys want to complete it you know nice and easy make sure you have an extra self-revive two self-revives is not enough just because if you die once then you're gonna have only one self revive now you're playing pretty much like on thin air so having at least three self revive is definitely gonna be you know the best way to go so right here we got another blood burner another thing i can say is that this dark ether is extremely easy even if you do it by yourself is because it's a lot open as opposed to the other dark ether where everything was crowded especially being inside buildings because it was like a castle this one you can pretty much just be anywhere is a lot open now one of the things i do recommend is sticking to the rooftops is definitely a like an easy way to jump from building to building as you can see right here and you pretty much away from zombies and this right here is going to keep you alive make sure you guys listen to your surrounding if you feel like you got dogs or zombies behind you make sure you guys you know run shoot turn around shoot the zombies run without your gun i keep emphasizing you guys to run without your gun because it's going to be you know saving your life i know a lot of people are new to the game because i know a lot of people in the comments be telling me like yo how do you survive in the dark ether or the red zone so anyway we're going to be doing more tutorial videos on the dark ether and the red zone but anyway thank you guys for watching it's your boy ji drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel and we we'll see you guys next time on the next one